Hello, here we are again, David and his wife Diane, um, speaking to you about uh, how I'm progressing with uh, trying to become an author. Um, if you know the story so far, you know that I was a, um, a high school teacher in, in the UK and, um, and now retired and thinking of what I wanted to do in retirement, um, I wanted to write. Now, Diane, I mean, um, what did you want to do in retirement? Well, um, yeah, I, it's a it's a very funny thing to um, consider retirement, and although you know I'm getting a bit closer to that age group, but retirement shouldn't shouldn't be just you know you thinking about putting your feet up yeah, and. No. Um, not having any goals or plans and because I'm an occupational therapist <clears throat> I know that human beings function much better if they have goals uh, set for themselves yeah. in life that's and true. throughout life that's that's where physically and yeah. capably you know and capably possible so that's what I would always recommend and I set goals for myself so I live by those rules myself so I, yeah. I encourage other people that I, I meet and that uh, you know my what they call here participants participants rather um, in Australia mm. and that's yeah. what I would say is that always set yourself goals throughout your lifespan don't come to that point where you think I can't wait to retire because most of us do that and then retirement comes, and I'm in a period yeah. now where I'm not working at the moment. And for 13 weeks, it's been um, good to start with, but now I'm getting to the point where I'm just yeah. bored to tears. The holiday's wearing off, is and it the, again? And the holiday is wearing <laughs> off, and there's only so much you can do, and there's only so many repeats that you can do of the same thing. And yeah. the novelty wears off. So I would say... Ensure that you have something set up for yourself um, yeah, that yeah. you're going to do in retirement. Don't think you're just going to switch off because that's a, yeah. a good way for you to um, yeah, become yeah. inactive. Yeah. And if you're inactive, then the brain is inactive, the body is inactive, right, and then saying, that then... Yeah. then Brings um, on illnesses. Yes, brings yeah. on illnesses yeah. and the consequences, yeah. you know, are, are not yeah. are not great. And that's not what you want. Nobody no. wants that. They no. don't want illnesses. They don't want no. to feel that you know their retirement yeah. leads you know to a to yeah. um, an end where you know you're you're being nursed. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's not only just been about um, people retiring, has it? It's also no. been about you know your mindset when you're younger, and you know you can change wherever you are. Um, and adapt to something else, try something else, you know. Um, anyway, getting back to um, uh, the books, um, what we've done on, um, let's say, I, I, um, I write the books and then I put them on uh, KDP, which is the Amazon um, book publishing site. It's, um, it's a bit of a daunting thing because, of course, you're just such a small fish in a massive ocean of, you know, Amazon books. And um, and how do you sort of get yourself? Um, I was talking to somebody last week, as um, this chap, and he said, uh, "Well, he said, well, I, I go down to um, uh, Melbourne." He said, "And it's about an hour or so on Just the train." Bring David in on the picture yeah. a little bit because he's a little on the edge there. I've always been on the edge, kid. <laughs> and um, so he said he goes down there, and uh, I'm on the train, and he said, I, "I noticed that a lot of people," he said, "they read from their phones or from their iPad." Oh, you mentioned this last yeah, time. So, the, yeah, well, I mean, but now what I've done in this last week is that I've put five short stories, comedy stories, um, which I've titled Laugh Out Loud. And there's then there's the five different stories. And I've put them on um, Amazon KDP, but on the e-books. So in other words, it's not an actual paperback. It's just an, an, an e-book. Yeah. And that's something that, of course, I, I've got no idea what it is, but I've done it anyway. And, um, and, and of course... You know, I said to the guy, oh, thanks very much, because, it's you know, this is where I say human beings are good at being together, sharing things together. Ideas get passed around. 
because um you know we are a social animal and we we do respond better when we're you know amongst friends and family and this uh, like i say this chap just said you know oh, i saw people you know often they're reading while they're waiting, you know, yeah. because it takes about an hour or so to, on the train to get to Melbourne. That's true, that's true, yeah. isn't it? Because yeah, I, I, I used to use the train and you, you see uh, the majority of people are looking at a screen of some sort. Yeah. And they're just wanting to fill in that gap of, of boredom of the travel from A yeah. to B. And they're not, they're not, they don't do what we used to do many years ago is look yeah. out the window. They yeah. now, they're not. Uh, they want not wanting to engage in their in, in environment, so they they wanting to be entertained, and the entertainment, like David said, is yeah, well, um, it's, a, it's a, an opportunity. It's an opportunity, to, and they, this is what it's all about. Your, isn't it? your, 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 you know, some um, of my ideas, some of my stories. I mean, I just you know, but but these five um, comedy stories, mm. I say, laugh out loud, and um, each one is separate on um, on the. Um, what did, what did we learn about this day? Because this was oh. this was very intriguing, and and it's like David. This is our journey. Well, it's David's journey, really, as a writer. But obviously, I'm his wife, and I'm um, involved in it. As Coming along well. with shotgun, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, we've got a few things to tell you about yeah. that. So, so yeah, I mean, it was, it, it was um, when you when you're going to um, put things on KDP. And on, on, on then on goes on to the Amazon. There is certain things that you can sort of put on there. And of course, the thing with Amazon is that of course it goes through their website. So it's it's through the Amazon thing. You go onto an Amazon website and put in that this this one is called Laugh Out Loud, and then you'll see the five little stories. So that's how that sorry, works. Sorry, sorry, you're making it shake. <laughs> oh, sorry. You're so excited. Bit of a tapper. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, and of course what. Well, the, the uh, thing is that when I got on there, I looked at my other books, which is, uh, you know, I've got The Forgotten Children, and then Whatever Next, and then Pautia, mm. and then uh, Sam Draper and Dark Light. And I realized that when you go on to there, you can actually um, distribute um, through Amazon, through KDP Amazon. And then there was another little button there, a little, you know, press this thing here and a little tick comes on a little box and it was for other distribution well of course i ain't got a clue what other distribution is you know but anyway when you when you sort of click on this little thing which of course i've, I've no idea what it was but it says that it makes the books available to other wholesalers and retailers besides amazon so of course you think well that's exactly what i want i want other people to be able to get the books so but, and of course i've ticked this and then it then asks you then of what sort of um, rights you have. Well, I have the copyright to my to my work, um, and then you can go for worldwide distribution, but you can also pick where you want things to go, and um, and considering that, like I say, you know, um, my books, you know, are, are I suppose for English readers. That, that's the way I I see it. I mean, I know I, I said I was I was a bit excited that I did the. The whatever next, which is the the, the five comedy stories, I, I did that in German because you could, it said on Google that you could you know translate into into German for you. I thought, well, I'll have a go with that. <laughs> but of course, the snag is that we pressed the button and of course it downloaded the manuscript, and uh, and I thought, well, this is marvelous. And then of course a little thing come up and says, you know, your download has been successful. And then of course then you you can preview. So you press another button and you see preview. And uh, and they could look at it, and of course it was all in German. Now, there's a bit of a snag, <laughs> a bit of a snag there, isn't there? <clears throat> I, I don't speak any German, <laughs> so you know it's a bit of a whoops a moment. Um, yeah. Are we going to check the spelling on this one, sunshine? You know, and um, and so these are the, these are the magic moments that are, I'm having. You know, they're, they're quite sort of daunting because, like I say, I have no idea what it's doing, yeah. uh, but it's enjoyable. And of course, this is part of what it is, isn't it? It's part of what I'm trying to say to you, it's, it's part of a journey where you're new at the thing, even though I'm obviously, you know, an older chap, but I'm completely new at this and it's all new. And um, some of it is, you know, blimey, you go, <laughs> what have I done now? Like, you know. Yeah, because the thing is, as well, is, is, is to mention here is that, that this is not just a few weeks in which we discovered this special button. And um, we, to be fair, we're not 
and especially David, is not the person that likes to go on and read em endless Which reels of information, I don't do information about how to put your books on. We, yeah. we and David especially, is yeah. he likes to learn as he goes along and find out and, way, and make your yeah, errors and way. then correct them. But unfortunately yeah. with that system is that it, um, you could be you know, a year or two years yeah. or whatever down the road and you, you suddenly, aha, yeah. you have that um, light bulb yeah. moment. Oh, and light then, bulb. And do, then uh, do you remember it, the Ikea moments we've had? Yeah. Oh. When, when we, we bought something from Ikea and I would go, oh, yeah. I'm there putting this, you know, bedside cabinets together or something and, and I'm, I'm still there two hours later and yeah. the dying comes in and she said, what, what are you doing? Have you got them, got them together yet? And I said, no, I don't know where this goes now. And she said, haven't you read the instructions? <laughs> Read instructions, you have an LL, you know what I mean? Um, I, don't, I don't do instructions <laughs> oh like, you know. God. And so, of course... Yeah, it's um, a night for... Yeah. <clears throat> it's been terrible for me. It's been terrible. Yeah, 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 you don't like know what suffering. I've suffered. Yeah. Yeah, no. <clears throat> um, yes. So what I was going to say, too, is that... that um, so our programme, so our YouTube clips, are going to help you master these things a lot quicker than than obviously we have oh, yeah. we, we we're making the mistakes and then we're yeah. rectifying them and obviously we're yeah. going to let you know what but it's they a, but are it's, but to it's help also, you along as well it's also see you know it's it's a learning thing that you have yeah and it doesn't matter actually what it is you don't have to be a, a, you know writing books and publish them it, what i'm trying to encourage you and then of course diane is going to do the same is to encourage you to at least have a go of something as i say we we you know we don't want to labor the point but you know, through the COVID, this is what we did. We, I started to write because I couldn't go to work. The schools were closed. And Diane couldn't be an occupational therapist, so she started to paint. Oh, you're giving it the wobble. It's like an earth tremor I'm, here. <laughs> you like to, he likes to tap the table. A bit you of, can't that, see that, what I can see. There's a bit of a nervous tapper. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> in fact oh if, you, if you're wise out there, you mostly worked out his Morse code, and I'm asking somebody to help me get me out of here. Anyway, let's get back to the um, to the lovely Diane. Anyway, painting. What have you been painting this week? What have you got? Yeah, so I've always got a couple of things on the go. And sometimes, like I said to you last time, that some painters just put things away and then come back six months yeah, later. Yeah. But these are my finished pieces of work. And I've had them, well, like since COVID, actually. And this is what I kind of got myself into because of the COVID period, mainly. Oh. But it was. Um, I'll, bring this up up. A bit. I'll bring this up a bit, but I don't think yeah. I, I can get it on a full screen. No, oh, I can get it on a full screen. You later. can, yeah. So if I bring it in a bit closer, oh, yeah. now you can see a bit more of the detail. Now that is what we call white and black gesso in the trade. And um, so that just basically means um, it, it is a white and black picture. It's very and good, it's meant isn't it? to be that. Yeah. But the white and black. Uh, gesso yeah. gives the picture depth you see so yeah, um, see what you're saying, and as yeah. you can see like um you know there's a little waterfall there mm. and the stones and yeah, it it's, just it's beautiful it, considering it's, it's black and white yeah and I, yeah, I'm not trained yeah. I'm not a trained artist and I'm you know quite happy to let you know that but um but I've always loved art and mm. like I told you before is that that things like art yeah. Or any anything that you want to pursue. Yeah. This yeah. was my my dream when I was a child, and it got lost. You know, yeah, like things do as you as you. Um, well, somebody's going to say, "What do you want to be?" And you say, "I want to be an artist." And yeah. then somebody says, "Well, it's yeah. not a proper so job." There's is no it? money yeah. in that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Anyway, so that's that's, that's that brilliant. one. I hope you like that one. Just give us some comments as well. I'd love you to just give me some comments as to which. Is oh. your favourite because I've got two more here. That's one of my favourites. I'll tell you there. Yeah, thank you, David. And um, and this is another one. So again, this was quite tricky because I don't do portraits. Um, but this little lady, well, she is. I, I can't really oh, get yes. her all on there. I, Ethiopian lady, yeah. And she is an Ethiopian lady. You can see, you know, um. The skin colours and I like the jewels. Uh, yeah, she's got a semi lot of, semi precious stones, aren't they? That's yeah. right, they yeah. are. Yeah, and that that's her, and that was my attempt anyway. That's very good to have a go at this, and this was the first time I I was like 
having a go at trying to do a portrait, um, is it? Do a portrait, yeah. So yeah. I was very, very hard because it, it was full concentration levels as to trying to get the brush strokes right and mm-hmm. and lots of lots of corrections and errors and you know that's that's all part yeah. of the journey, yeah. like we said. Yeah. And then this is this is another one. So I'm I've tried lots of different we're back to back styles and, again, we? yeah. and techniques and and this was done yeah. with a um, um, yes, yeah. a palette knife oh which, I see what um, you're saying so it's not you haven't used the brush no, you've used the palette knife palette yeah. knife so this is Mamatra and uh, you can see the dome in the background oh, from C, eh? good uh, right. from C. yeah uh, so yeah so that 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 was lo- you know lovely but the the technical um, um, details and things like that to get the the buildings right and I and see, standing yeah. it looks as though they're standing up it was it yeah. was a challenge it was a challenge but I so, loved it I really enjoyed it so, yeah, it looks very so good. just give me your comments on each one of these to say yeah. which one you like or even what you would like me to do so other um, pictures that you might want me to do. Yeah. yeah, I'll be happy for your comments. I really appreciate that. Yeah, but um, I noticed uh, behind us, there was always a uh-huh. uh, behind you. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you've got your latest uh, one on the easel there. Oh yeah, yes. Yeah. So I, I don't know whether um, you can see that in the background. You probably can't see no, that it's a bit too, too dark. well. But um, I'll just turn around. I'll bring that to you. Hang on a minute. You have to excuse me. I have to stand up. And ah. so this is this is the the latest my painting. It's a bit dark again. Is it meant to be at night? Yes. Yeah, so oh, this, no. this, this explains more, the one. Um, this is more recent, and you know, um, I do tend to go for the darker kind of pictures. I don't know whether you can see that. I'm pushing David. <laughs> Sorry, David. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> him out of the way. You don't need to be here. He said. <laughs> Sorry, David. And, oh, a sleeping um, koala. And that, yeah, there's my koala. And he's he's sleeping very sweet. in a in a gum tree um, eucalyptus. Where else would he be? Where else or would she he be? be? Just Brilliant. in the, uh, a little cleft there at night time. Um, and I, I do like that because I like the black and white um, look. It's, it seems to draw it out when the colour is, is dark, especially, well, it was meant to be dark anyway because it was at night. And I know koalas sleep in the day, but I'm sure they have a nap at night time too. Brilliant. Anyway, there we are. Well, okay. well what can you say, eh? She's a talented lady. And I'm married to her as well. Blimey. Anyway, um, yeah. the, uh, I mean, your your artwork, I mean, it's, it's fairly diverse. I would I'll give you that. I mean, I know you say that um, you're a, you prefer landscape, but I mean, you are having a go. See, this is part again of... Yeah. You're having a go at portrait, even though you said you know it took you a lot more time yeah, to do um, a portrait. And of course, this is the same with writing. I suppose some things that I have an yeah. interest in, yeah, have, I've been um, uh, writing, and I have a story in my head that's been in there for years. And then basically, I've started to write it down, and then I elaborate on the story, and um, and then you end up, you know, with, with the book. But I, th- I think it's the learning process, oh, yeah, and it yeah. doesn't matter what age you are. No. You know, learning is so good for you, and uh, and although it's being frustrating in some in some ways, but it's yeah. so good for you to be on that journey. And when you get that light bulb eureka moment, oh, it's yes, just yeah. really really gratifying. Yeah. To have achieved, you know, something that you thought at the time was frustrating and you you, yeah. you have you have, you don't have anybody around you and you're looking on google you're looking on various things to try and get ideas as, as to yeah how you do but there's some things that you just cannot get from google it is just from within you and you're drawing out your own abilities i would yeah. say that that's, yeah would you say that no, that's, really? that's a fair comment mm. i mean the um the the last comment i'm going to make now is, is about the my my own life story. I mentioned it that uh, the uh, I've thought of the title um, "Life Between an Angel and a Rabbit's Foot," and Diane, as I say, has, has done the cover for uh, picture to it of an angel and a rabbit's foot, and basically the, the wording on it is still very good there. Um, but um, it, it's taken me a while because it, it's it's basically from my birth until I retired, yeah. and um, 
and of course you you want to be really sort of truthful and and the truth sometimes hurts you know it's it's that's the way that life is it's 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 not a pretty picture is it you know all the time there is there is times in your life you think oh dear oh dear and then of course them classic things that I've had to think where you know people would say to you you know would you do that over again and and to be honest you you know in, I'm one of these that you know I just say no what would I want to put myself through that again for mm-hmm. where well, obviously you know I mean you know there there is people that say oh no I'd, I'd do it again because I've got this lovely daughter I've got this lovely son. And um, I agree that you've got the lovely daughter and the lovely son, but would you really go through, you know, trauma and pain and hurt again if you got the choice? I don't know about that. How have you felt um, about, you know, writing your uh, biography? Because there's, yeah. there's things that are not easy to write. Are, well, no, are this, there, is what that this, is, this is the point of, about it is that, yeah. you know, we, we, it's, it's a life of learning it's a life of um, of ups and downs i mean to say that i've had a roller coaster of a life is a bit of an understatement it's just mm. that a roller coaster is a very apt sort of thing to sort of you know describe it yeah. uh, but um it it um, nevertheless you know i mean you you've sort of there is lots of good points and they've always outweighed the bad points and that's about anything that we do in life isn't it as i used to say to the school kids you know, today might be a really bad day, but tomorrow is going to be absolutely brilliant. Let's hope so. And of course, that's the way you, you've got to look at life. You have to be like that. Otherwise, like I say, other things get in there. Mm. And if you let sort of, you know, the depressions and the things that get in there. Did you, you know, did you say that it helped you, David, when you when you were writing your book? Did you say that, you know, with oh, some yes, of the yeah, traumas definitely. and that, did yeah, it definitely. helped you to... Definitely, because like I say, you, it, well, those. because there's things that, you know, that have hurt you in the past. Mm. And the only way that you can actually, you know, deal with them is to understand, you know, maybe the other person's point of view, maybe the other person's, you know, their motives. And and I mean, that is another thing. And then coming to terms with them. And sometimes you you just bottle them up for years and years and years and years uh, because they're, they're, you know, they're better off kept in a back room somewhere in the back of your brain. But um, when you write a book and I, I wanted to write my story, and especially because it's not a matter of just an ego trip. It's a matter that there was a great learning curve because I, I was sort of, I was born in the 1950s. And so I was a school child in the 1960s and I was a teenager in the 1970s. And then believe me, they were all pretty good decades. They had wondrous things there, but there was also, you know, life's journey, life changed, you know, and, um, but you know it, that's what it is. It's it's a thing. It's it's a journey, uh, and of course up to the retirement, which was let's say, um, not this year, not not last year, the year before, and um, and of course from that, of course you know um, we're here in Australia, and um, we've um, we're a nice day today. I mean the sun has been absolutely fantastic. We've had a walk around the local lake, and uh, there's there's all parks around it. Um, um, was it Mururunda? Uh, Maruna. 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 And uh, it's, it's a, you know, a lovely area and you just walk around it very leisurely and there's everybody down there, there's joggers and there's people walking their dog and everything. And we had, uh, we took sandwiches, didn't we, for lunch yeah. and sat yeah. out next to the lake and, you know. We did it the old fashioned way. That's it. We Sit took... down for ducks, you know. And we, and we had a picnic. Yeah, that's the way. That's the way to do it. Um... Anyway, do you think that's it then? That's uh, it. We, um, we've covered most things yeah. now, I think. But as um, I say, we, we're going to try to we'll make... to round up now. Yeah. Well, we want, want, to, we want to make more of these. I mean, I said last week, I said I would do one midweek, and then we never did. I mean, you know, uh, this happened, this happened, and that. Uh, and, uh, oh, we had Australia Day. Yeah, that was that was good, wasn't it? We, we met some new <laughs> friends and some new people. Yeah, that was um, very controversial. Yeah. Not meeting the new people, no, but no, it no, was no, controversial but never, never Australia Day. I mean, yeah. It's almost like some of the shops, mm-hmm. just as an aside, some of the shops here in Australia, um, last year, because we've been here over a year now, last year the shops were closed, yeah. everything was closed. This year, the main um, supermarkets, they decided to treat it like any other day, like a, yeah. um, like a Sunday, Sunday opening hours. Yeah. And there was no sign of any... Um, no, a no, celebration no. of Australia you, you Day. You could see, you know, I mean, it's very, um, yeah. 
We we actually what would saw. What you call it? It's very sensitive at the moment. Well, it's it's, the... well it's 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 again it's this sort of thing that. Um, I mean, yeah. you know, the, the Australia Day was all flags and waving and everything last year. Yeah. It was the first one that we saw. We, we, we say we we just arrived then, yeah. uh, but this year it was not, and it was you could see that you know the government and and the, and the people in general had thought you know they're going to keep keep a low key on that because it's a controversial thing. Now, uh, why is it controversial? Something that happened in you know um, seventeen hundred and something, you know. And uh, and they say well the um, the indigenous people here the Aborigines of of um, are upset and they say it's a, a day of shame that you know uh, Westerners came here. Now I mean I, I can understand that in the sense of their history, but in the sense of our history, it's been a great thing. I mean this this country, you know I mean I'm I'm, I'm singing the praises of it because I'm here. But I mean the, it is mm. it's a fantastic place mm. and everybody's attitude is really great. I mean, I don't know about the Aborigines because you very rarely see them. But the actual, you know, the Aussies, yeah. they're laughing, joking, they have a good time. They're really nice people, yeah. extremely friendly. But that's why you come halfway around the world from wherever you came from, because you wanted a new beginning and a new life. Yeah, you didn't come here, oh, let's go there and be miserable. I mean, come off it. I mean, you know. Now, of course, the indigenous people is, is a, math, a different thing, but... You know, as I said to you before, I don't want to get political in the sense of a party against this, but I'll certainly make a comment on the, that. You know, I mean, we we sort of in in the UK, where I come from, I mean, we were sort of, you know, we we sort of been invaded by the Normans, so they were there. Well, our ancestors could have been the Saxons, but you were taken over then, and then before them they had the Romans, and but I mean, where do you stop with this? You know, if something happened, you know, hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago, it's nothing to do with us. We're just here to make the most of it. And and, and if you're making the most of this country, and the country is for everybody, when you say that you're an Australian, and of course I can't say that, and she can, because she's an Australian, yeah, but I can't, I'm still, a, I'm still a Brit. But I mean, the point is, is that you come here because you want to come here, you know. Why would you go to somewhere that you didn't want to be, you know? I don't like there. Oh, why stay there? <laughs> go, go away, you know. And um, I think that I think you're, you've hit on a really good point. And, yeah, um, and uh, as long as the people that have taken over that country have made it good for the people and good and, and have done good things. Yeah, but I mean, the thing, obviously, uh, we're all against, and everybody is against racialism. And, yeah. and now people are. St- so inclusive now that that this is a better land yeah, for it because absolutely. in the past um they didn't have that knowledge that understanding morally they were in a different place but now we're in it we're in a, a different place again yeah. with a new generation a new way of thinking yeah and so we we shouldn't be ashamed of our no, future not at all. It's, it was the quite future uh, of Australia. That's it was I'm quite strange. It was quite strange to have a, you know uh, this you know that's feeling where you know and I, I know you've got it back there in the UK where oh. you know you've got to be ashamed of this and you're ashamed of that. You haven't got to be ashamed of anything that somebody else did. You can be ashamed of what you did, but you're not going to be ashamed of what somebody did. You know, 250 years ago it has nothing to do with you whatsoever. No, you can be no, a direct no. ancestor, no. and it's still nothing to do no, with you. You, you, you know. were never involved in the You're conversation. Never involved in it, you know. You're never involved in that conversation. You're never involved in a, no. uh, an agreement. So it cannot be part of you. Yeah. You know, that's what we're trying to say. But anyway, we wanted to cover a few little historical facts as well because it, it just makes you're, it a little bit good, more you're interesting. Really, you're good, but um, yeah, so we thank you so much yeah, thank for you for listening to yeah. this channel. We really appreciate it's, um, you subscribing. Yeah. Please, you know, it's Half yeah. Penny Man, aka David Wiggins. Pass it on. Um, and let's, uh, let's you know, enjoy this journey. And um, like I say, we'll, we'll hopefully. Um, you know, see you in midweek sometime and yep. uh, do another one, okay? Yeah, we, we will pass everything on to you. Everything we learn, we will pass on to okay. you because we want to help um, you guys yeah. out there too. Well, help me as well. And it helps you too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank All you right. very much. Thanks ever so much, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye now.